liberal city just gave nasty gift to every sex offender just one week before kids coming knocking for candy. Halloween is just around the corner, and if you are a parent, you most likely have a young child just chomping at the bit ready to go trick or treating. They have their costume all picked out, and their bucket prepared to be filled to the brim with sweet treats from neighbors and friends, and not a worry in the world. However, leave it to liberals to shatter that sense of security with their latest attack on the innocent and pure, and it could not be at the worst time. For years, the liberal agenda has been targeting children and their innocence, and they aren't stopping anytime soon. It should not have to be said, but adults are supposed to be the ones that protect children from the evils of the world, but that is not how the liberal agenda works. These sick and twisted liberals have promoted lifting safeguards in public schools by allowing teachers to instruct them on sex education, minimized parental roles, and sexualize them in popular television shows and magazines. Now, there has been a push to normalize pedophilia employing the same methods that progressives used with the LGBT community in the past. These nasty liberals are attempting to equate adults who have sexual relations with other consenting adults on the same level as a pedophile seeking to engage in sexual relations with a child. But, before that can be done they must remove roadblocks that protect these innocent children, and it looks like that is being done in one California city. Just a week before Halloween, Simi Valley City Council voted to repeal a law that would protect children from sex offenders. You see, in the past sex offenders were not allowed to participate in giving out candy, decorating their home, or enticing children on Halloween in any way. In fact, these sick individuals were to have all outdoor lighting turned off from 5 p.m. to midnight so that children did not come to their doors. However, these liberal city council members caved to lawsuits citing that this law infringed on sex offenders' rights, so they did away with it instead of fighting to protect the innocent. Here is more from Blue Lives Matter. The Simi Valley City Council voted on Monday to repeal a law that was put in place to protect children from sex offenders. The city council says that their decision was based on their belief that the ordinance wouldn't stand up against a lawsuit which was filed against the city and police department. The ordinance specifically targeted registered sex offenders and was meant to keep young children away from them on Halloween. Under the ordinance, registered sex offenders were prohibited from answering their doors to trick or treaters, according to CBS Los Angeles. The ordinance also prohibited them from decorating the outside of their homes, which could attract children, and they were required to have their outdoor lighting off from 5 p.m. to midnight on Halloween. With the ordinance gone, no law prohibits sex offenders from attracting trick or treaters to their house. The law was initially passed in 2012, but the city has since seen two lawsuits defending sex offenders' right to give candy to children. Janice Bellucci, the executive director of the Alliance for Constitutional Sex Offense Laws, filed the latest lawsuit to stand up for sex offenders. With no clear path to victory for the city, they saw no choice but to eliminate the law. The lawsuit against the city will now be dismissed. Nobody had been cited under the ordinance since it was enacted in 2012. The city is now adopting a new strategy to protect children from the sex offenders. Mike Harris with Ventura County Star reports that Mayor Bob Huber said the news plan is a very proactive way to approach the protection of our children. We'll be sending the link to the Megan's Law site for our residents to locate and therefore avoid going to homes of registered sex offenders. Hoover, who is an attorney, is the one who initially created the now repealed ordinance but said that the courts had been striking down similar ordinances for years, and that requires them to change their strategy. Only 97 of the city's 165 registered sex offenders will be listed. The site excludes offenders of certain sex crimes such as indecent exposure. It is unfathomable to hear that anyone in their right mind would argue that sex offenders have any rights after they denied someone theirs by force. These sex offenders may have done their time in prison, but they are in no way rehabilitated and should not be allowed to interact with young children no matter what their crime was. Children need to be protected, and if the city is not going to step up and make sure that happens, then parents are going to need to be more active in their children's lives.
We live in a time where it is evident that the progressive left has infiltrated many government offices and they are not in the business of protecting family values, and that won't change until we vote them out. Vote them out.